yes so we are talking about notice writing notice writing is a is the kind of writing skill which is required to notify the public maybe on the offline mode or on the online mode so notice can be put up on the walls they it can be put up on the uh, in social networking sites also it can be in the newspapers also right so once the notice is put up somewhere it becomes public okay it's not private it's not personal but yes notice is about your personal or it can be about your personal or private affair uh, for example you have lost your suitcase you have lost your mobile you can put up a notice notifying the public about your loss or if you have purchased if you have found something you can notify the public about the about your finding and then you can ask the people to claim it from you so these are also notices but point is like once the notice is put up anywhere it becomes public it doesn't remain personal or private okay so there are two issues two things can the notice be written on personal front the answer is yes you can write a notice on personal front because if you it it can be about personal matter also but yes once the notice is put on put up then it becomes a public issue okay second thing format wise if we talk about the format of the notice then uh, first of all the notice writing requires an outline right after the outline this kind of outline okay so inside you know on the very top the word notice can come or the name of the institute name of institute on the top the name of the institute will come okay on the top the name of the institute <laughs> yes name of the institute will come on the top and it is followed by date date is to the is written here to the left side so here date is written to the left side remember this then in the center uh, you can write the word notice so here the word notice can come it can be followed by the title or heading of your notice so then the heading or the title of the notice will come so sequencing of the notice you should know because that is like only when you talk about the word notice it can come on the top also okay just before the name of the institution it can come after the name of the institution it can come so there is no hard and fast rule about writing the word notice otherwise the things are like that so when you have written the title or the heading uh, then the content of the notice will start so content will start and content starts from here and yes when you write the content of the notice first of all you must talk about the target group target like for whom is this notice meant maybe the notice is meant only for the residents of uh, alpine society maybe the notice is meant for the uh, for the monitors of all classes maybe the notice is meant for all office bearers of the school maybe the notice is meant for only class 11th a got it so first of all mention the target group you people can scroll down the uh, notices put up in your class group by me okay the notices which are for 11th a or 11th b or whole 11th you read them and you will see that yes first of all the target group is mentioned is that clear so target group is most important because 
the moment you the one would see whether one comes in that category one would read or not so target group is first so after the target group you have to mention the purpose of writing the notice okay what's the purpose of writing notice so second thing is about purpose of writing notice so if it is for 11th a so what could you say 11th a is informed that they must come to school on as per the following schedule for registration purpose getting purpose we have mentioned so clearly mention the purpose without confusing the readers with uh, when where and how date time when you can be given later on but first you mention overall reason for writing the notice is this much clear if yes raise hand yes those who are listening raise hand yes when the hands will be up then divyanshi take the screenshot within now 5 seconds take divyanshi screenshot after 5 seconds i count up to 5 then you take screenshot 1 2 3 children i want you to raise hand if you are listening 1 2 3 4 5 vidyanshi take screenshot immediately taken okay so today attendance will be marked on the basis of these raised hands because they are listening it means so those who are not listening their absent will be marked anyways okay so target group purpose of writing notice so target group men should be mentioned first then afterwards the purpose of writing notice so date time when you will come later on i am repeating this purpose of my writing notice will come first i am giving you one more example all the monitors or the monitors of classes 9th onwards must attend a meeting with the principal as per the following schedule got it target has also come purpose has also come now what is very important schedule is important like date time venue is important and for this what we will write over here now so third point is schedule schedule of date time and venue dtv learn it so after purpose you can mention there only like as per the following schedule then you give the schedule in the form of a mini table so this was the main table this was the main outline and inside you can draw a mini outline so date time venue agenda topic whatever so we were talking about schedule is to be written in the mini table like this so always write the schedule in a in tabular form in table it is more uh, you know you get more credit for this instead of writing the whole notice in a running paragraph write the notice in tabular form that is specify the different things separately so after this schedule like date time venue agenda topic uh, duration number of participants and all whatever like as per the topic so whatever the main things are required mention them in the mini table suppose you are asking the students to come to give names for a declamation contest so what will be required date of contest time of contest 
venue of contest topic of contest duration of competition then you can also mention number of participants in each uh, number of participants from each section maybe two from each or three from each so specify these kinds of things so after the schedule that is which is given after date time venue topic agenda duration uh, and all the most important thing you to be written in the minute table is uh, deadline mention the deadline in the scheduled table itself what is the deadline like up till which date one can give name if you are asking children to give names give the deadline if you are asking the students to uh, do something uh, to donate for some cause give the deadline like up to which date they can do this so if you give deadline that is very important and deadline has separate one mark in the notice is that clear so when the examiners check your notice then for, they go for three things number one they go for purpose purpose and schedule if something is missing out of these two they straight away deduct two marks purpose schedule then deadline because without deadline your notice is irrelevant it has no purpose because the children may not be able to give their names by the deadline if you have not mentioned so mention the deadline and yes in the end after the deadline because all these specifications you have given in the schedule deadline is almost the second end point of the content and the last important important point is contact whom to contact in the end so that is like for more information you can contact the undersigned okay so this is a sequence which you must remember for mcq purpose okay whatever the other things i spoke about about personal front public notice so the content point of view say like these are the most important things target group purpose of uh, writing notice schedule deadline contact contact means like whom can the uh, whom can the public contact in case of some query or some doubt for any other information feel free to contact the undersigned right so after the contact your notice the content has finished then you are to leave some space after the content you will sign you will put your signatures you sign yourself then you write your full name then you write the designation that's also very important designation whether you are the head boy whether you are the principal whether you are the examination coordinator or whether you are a student of 7c so whatever you are mention this because whenever somebody writes a notice that person has some individuality okay you may be a resident of a, uh, you know residency society so mention it residence of uh, residency society you can also mention your flat number okay so point is the designation doesn't mean that you are only the designation from the professional front it also means your identity so this is about the notice sign name designation is in the end so this is sequence also you should know first sign then name then designation any doubt from here you will have your MC, writing skills in the form of mcqs if there is any doubt if you have come across some mcq related to the writing skill of notice you can ask right now no okay now let me pick up the another one tomorrow children we will discuss grammar okay and if something would be left out of these two that also we will do 
so now first let me talk about uh, speech writing you've been doing the speech writing for the last many years and today i'll be just talking about the speech writing from the format point of view or from the mcqs point of view right so speech writing is what kind of you know write up number one speech writing is written in it's written in first person pronoun it's written in first person it's not an account it's written in first person and the purpose of speech writing what is the purpose of speech writing if we talk about purpose it can be to inform the public it can be to preach the public it can be to uh, bring awareness on some topic or on some issue or it can be to inspire the public inspire the public okay it can be inspiration it can be awareness it can be preaching it can be information right so speech writing is done in always first person the one who gives a speech always says that uh, always says i want to tell you i personally feel it's my humble request something like this so speech writing is always in first person and moreover this purpose of speech writing is to inform the public about something about to preach or to bring awareness or to inspire the public and most of the times the speeches are for inspirational purpose okay or to bring awareness right so after the purpose you know we are to see like what are the important segments of speech writing when you want to write a speech then uh, format wise the speech can start with a quote okay you can start a speech with a quote then you can greet the audience then the speaker can introduce self introduction and introduction to the topic so the speaker whosoever is giving the speech must introduce himself and he must also introduce the topic to the audience right so first the topic is very important if the one if one doesn't tell the topic then speech becomes irrelevant so put, you can start with quotation it is op optional okay it's not always compulsory to start with a quote you can simply start with greeting the audience okay first of all wish the audience then you introduce yourself and the topic and afterwards the speech will start and when you write the speech then you must remember you must uh, you know uh use speech jargons for example my dear friends my dear audience etc so the speech jargons like my dear audience this august gathering uh okay so use the speech jargons and you address the audience directly okay address these audience directly in the speech because it's your first person uh speech it is to be done by the person on his own so use speech targets because the uh, the rule is that you always respect the audience when somebody is giving a speech the audience must be respected okay due respect should be given to the listeners so use speech targets in between and uh, so when you are giving the speech in between keep on using the uh, interesting anecdotes some uh, uh, very you know relevant uh, data so inside the speech some interesting
some interesting anecdotes or some uh, relevant relevant uh, quotes or some data or some facts can be given a speech becomes interesting and informative only when you give when you support your speech or the points with your with important and interesting anecdotes or quotes or data or facts is that clear some people think that it's only in the debates that you have to give the relevant data and facts but no even when you are giving a speech when you are convincing people to go for vaccination against covid even then you can give very specific data and facts to prove that the vaccination is very safe so the point is like these are the things you can add in your speech to make it more interesting or uh, i mean like to make your speech more relevant and effective and finally when your speech has finished uh, that you know like already the speech should have a proper beginning then it should be like uh, its middle then conclude the speech uh, thereby you know summing up your all ideas whatever the ideas you've given throughout in the speech sum them up in the end right finally don't forget to express your gratitude to the audience express your gratitude so say thank you to the audience in the end okay so when your audience has been thanked that is the time for you to leave the mic or the desk or the paper okay these are the format this is the format of speech writing and uh, most of the time student commit the mistake of uh, writing the speech in first person okay so many a time student get confused about speech writing and article writing article writing is altogether a different write up where you don't write in first person in the speech writing you address the audience and of course when you will be addressing the audience you will be talking from your point of view right so that's it so formal letters we'll discuss tomorrow right so this much would be i guess enough for the day any doubt till here any doubt till here no okay is amritpal there not there okay children we'll see you tomorrow